A whole industry has developed around the idea that certain scents drive us wild and bring the possibility of sex one step closer. Scientists have long researched for a human pheromone, a secretion that influences sexual behavior. So far, they found only one that comes close. Men produce the hormone androstenone in their apocrine glands, which cluster wherever there's body hair. But it's hardly a love drug. Females hate the smell, generally, of males. Androstenone seems to smell like musk in the beginning and then turns into a urine-like smell. In Vienna, Austria, evolutionary biologist Carl Grammer is leading the world in the hunt for human pheromones. Early in his research, Grammer discovered that there was a point in the female menstrual cycle when women stopped finding the acrid smell of androstenone distasteful and began to like it. Suddenly, at the point of ovulation, males smell good, and attractive males especially smell good. So for men, androstenone is an efficient mating radar, repelling women unless they're fertile. But the link between a woman's sexual interest and a man's smell is even more complex than this. Salty water from a man's sweat glands blends with androstenone from the apocrine glands, and together, they nurture the bacteria that live on the skin. It's a microscopic breeding ground that gives every man a unique smell. A smell that women are sharply attuned to. Elisabeth Oberzalcher, a member of Grammer's team, has found the perfect way to capture eau de man. We are having these boys run on the treadmills right now to make them really sweat. We want to find out whether there is a specific preference for the odor of one guy, which is the same for all the girls, or whether it's a sort of matching system where one girl prefers the odor of one guy and the other girl might prefer some typically different odor. The men leave a sweaty fingerprint on their t-shirts, one that tells a woman more about them than they would ever guess. Odor, for me, is a very interesting signal because it affects us on a very subconscious level. So we cannot really uh, consciously interfere with what odors do to us, how we perceive them and so on. In our brain, the processing of odors is very closely related to emotional responses. Not only emotional responses, but genetic ones. There's an intimate connection between how we smell and what's called the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. MHC is a section of our DNA that determines which diseases our immune system is equipped to fight. There are about a hundred genes within this region, each with many different variants. No two people have the same MHC combination, and no two people smell the same. We don't really know so far how our immune systems get into our body odor, but there is scientific evidence that they are linked. Our immune system actually determines which bacteria can live on our skin, and the bacteria is actually what makes our sweat smell. So how do women react to men's sweaty t-shirts? The basic answer is not too surprising. Unfortunately, the most uh, of these uh, smells are not very sexy. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's very hard um, to smell the differences between them. Yeah. But not all women feel the same way. There was one smell I didn't find that unattractive. Um, it was uh, mild and not so much intense. And I wasn't disappointed about that. That one of our women uh, liked one of those odors very much might have two reasons. First of all, uh, she was in her fertile window, means, um, yes, uh, the, the general dislike of male uh, odors was reduced. And the second reason would be that um, her uh, MHC, her immune genes, uh, were obviously quite well matched to his. Oberzacher and Grammer found that women only liked a man's smell if two conditions were met. First, the woman had to be within a day or two of ovulation. Second, the MHC genes of the man had to be significantly different from their own. This result has now been reproduced across the world. 
including in Marty Hazelton's lab at UCLA. What people prefer is body scents that are different from their own. So you get one set of genes from each of your parents. If you get different genes from each of your parents, it's thought that you have superior immunity than if you get the same MHC genes from each of your parents. Women's noses really may be helping them sniff out a suitable mate and at the time in their monthly cycle when they're most likely to conceive. But Oberzacher's team had a hunch that women's sense of smell was also doing something else steering them clear of relatives. To test this, they tried a variation on the smelly t-shirt experiment. Among the t-shirts being raided, Oberzalker placed one belonging to a woman's brother or father. When confronted with the sweat of a family member, the related woman had a strong and strikingly negative reaction. It's actually this dislike of closely related uh, people is a sexual dislike. So this is a sexually repellent odor. Now we actually think that the major role of uh, this like, of similar odors, um, would be in incest avoidance because closely related uh, individuals will have a very similar immune system and therefore very similar odors. Incest is a social taboo because it's a biological time bomb leaving offspring with highly vulnerable immune systems. No wonder nature placed incest avoidance in the hands of a scent so deep that we're barely conscious of it. Evolutionary scientists believe early humans relied on the sense of smell much more than we do today. In ancestral environments, there's a lot of uncertainty about just how closely related you are to others. If people are living in groups where there are extended kin, then you could be fairly closely related to individuals who aren't even called your siblings. So detecting kin was not quite so trivial as just listening to who gets called your brother or your sister. How is it that people detect this information? It turns out that it's through body scent. Women navigate the dangerous waters of sexual reproduction, guided by male body odor. Smell steers women away from genetically unsuitable partners and towards ones who will give them healthy kids. Man smell generally repels, but the scent of a woman is something completely different. It has a secret and shocking role in sex appeal. When men are exposed to vaginal secretions of women, they will lose actually the ability to distinguish between an attractive and a less attractive woman. 